Let's compare 0.1 to 0.070. So this one right over here, it is in the tenths place. So it literally represents 1 times 1 tenth. 1 times 1 tenth, which is obviously the same thing as 1 tenth. Now when we look at this number right over here, it has nothing in the tenths place. It has 7 in the hundredths place. So this is the hundredths place right over here. And then it also has nothing in the thousandths place. So this number can be rewritten as 7 times as 7 times 1 over 100, or 7 hundredths. 7 hundredths. And now we could compare these two numbers. And there's two ways you could think about it. You could try to turn 1 tenth into hundredths. And the best way to do that, if you want the denominator to be increased by a factor of 10, you need to do the same thing to the numerator. So all I did is I multiplied the numerator and denominator by 10. 10 one hundredths is the exact same thing as 1 tenth. And here it becomes very clear. 10 hundredths is definitely larger than 7 hundredths. Another way you could think about this is, look, if you were to increment by hundredths here, you would go to 700, or you'd start at 7 hundredths, 8 hundredths, 9 hundredths, and then you'd get to 10 hundredths. So then you would get to that number. So this number, multiple ways you could think about it, is definitely larger. So let me write this down. This is definitely larger, greater than. This is greater than that. I, I, the greater than symbol opens to the larger value. So here we have 0 0.0. 0, 0.093, and here we have 0 0.01. So let's just think about this a little bit. So this 9, let me get a new color here. This 9 is not in the tenths, the hundredths, it's in the thousandths place. It's in the thousandths place. And this 3, this 3 is in the, I'm running out of colors again. This 3 is in the ten thousandths place. So the 3 is in the 10 thousandths place. So you could literally view this as 9 thousandths, 9 thousandths plus 3 10 thousandths, plus 3 10 thousandths. And if you just wanted to write it in terms of 10 thousandths, you can multiply the 9 and 1,000 by 0. And so it becomes 90 over 10 thousandths, 90 10 thousandths. And if you want to add them together, you could, of course, write this as 93 10 thousandths. 93 ten thousandths. Ten thousandths. I always have trouble with that THS at the end. Now let's think about this number right over here, 0 0.01. Well, this one right over here is in the hundredths place. It's in the hundredths place. So it literally represents one hundredth. So how can we compare one hundredth to 93 ten thousandths? So the best way to think about it is, well, what's one hundredth in terms of ten thousandths? Well, let's just multiply both the numerator and the denominator here by 10 twice. Or you could say, let's multiply them both by 100. So if you multiply by 10 once, you get to 10 thousandths. It's the same thing as 100. Multiply by 10 again, you get 100 ten thousandths is the same thing as 100. And we know that. 100 times 100 is 10,000. So here it becomes very clear. 100 ten thousandths, or 100, is definitely larger than 93 ten thousandths. So this quantity right over here is less than this quantity there. Less than symbol, the small n, points to the smaller number. Larger n to the larger number. In fact, that's true of the less than and greater than. So let's see, this one right over here, 0 0.6 versus 0 0.06. So here I have a 6 in the tenths place. So it literally represents 6 tenths. And here, and in the second number, I have a 6 in the hundredths place. Well, the hundred, six hundredths is definitely smaller than six tenths. A hundredth is a tenth of a tenth. So this, this one is pretty straightforward. This is going to be the larger value. 0 0.6 is greater than 0 0.06. Now let's think about 0 0.3 versus 0 0.06. So this 3 literally represents 3 tenths, 3 tenths. While this 6 right over here, while this 6 right over here represents 6 hundredths. Six hundredths. And if you wanted to compare them directly, you could multiply three tenths times well, the, both the numerator and the denominator by 10. So you're not changing its value. 10 over 10 is essentially 1, or it is 1. So this becomes 30 over 300. Three tenths is the same thing as 30 over 100. And 30 over 100 is a lot larger than 6 over 100. So this is greater than.